Hi guys, today we are talking about mom hacks that I think any mom should know because these are going to make your life so much easier when you have a new baby um, and even in the first few months of motherhood, even later on into toddlerhood because some of these apply even to toddlers. So I hope you guys enjoy this, hope you get some use out of it. So let's get started with hack number one. When you have a newborn and you're trying to change their diaper, they might get their hands all over the place. So what you want to do when you're changing a poopy diaper is put their onesie over their hands and that will kind of prevent them from getting their hands into the dirty diaper. Number two, also sticking with diapers, they have butterfly things on the edges and you have to make sure that you pull those out when you put the diaper on your baby because that will help prevent any leakage and also most diapers will have this little strip down the middle and it's usually yellow on a fresh diaper and then once they have a little pee it will turn blue. So that's a really handy indicator that you you should change their uh, diaper. Number three and something that I actually had no idea when I first became a mom is when you should change diaper size because it might be confusing as to the proper time to change diaper size and actually a lot of uh, diapers that I've tried even if they have the weight like the kilograms on the diaper pack it kind of depends on the baby actually. My baby actually always had a size up even though he hasn't reached those kilograms yet it, they actually fit him a lot better. There are two ways that you can tell it's time to change the size and that is one um, they will have a lot of a blowouts, a lot of spills. This doesn't always mean you have to change the diaper size but if this happens a lot then it might be a good indicator. And then the second one is they have a lot of lines on their tummy as in when you take the diaper off they will have a lot of marks on their tummy which kind of indicates that the diaper was way too snug on their tummies. So that's when you know you're supposed to change diaper size. Next one if you want to give your baby a, a pacifier and they're not taking it um, you can try dipping it in breast milk or just like their regular milk and that will kind of give them an incentive to take the pacifier. I know some moms choose just to skip the pacifier which is completely fine but if you do want them to take a pacifier this is something that could help. When you are warming up breast milk or just any type of milk you can check the temperature on your wrist that is the best place where you can check it. It should actually not feel too warm on your skin it should just feel kind of neutral if you know what I mean because it, the milk should be kind of like your body temperature. Clipping nails can be a huge struggle when you have a newborn or like a small baby and even now as a toddler but in the first few months what worked really well for us was doing this when he was asleep but make sure you choose your timing right because if you do this too soon after they fall asleep they might actually wake up. So what I did was I always waited a bit um, usually around 15 to 20 minutes and that did the trick. So after 15 to 20 minutes um, after they fall asleep they're usually usually in a pretty deep sleep so it's kind of like the perfect time to do this because they will not wake up when you do it. And a funny story, my husband would actually help me with this because we would usually do this at night when he would go to sleep and it would obviously be really dark in his room. So what we would do is we would both go in there. My husband would hold the phone up to my baby's hand just so that I could see what I'm doing and then I would clip his nails and it would be really funny. We always laughed that it's like we're going on this little ninja mission into his room to cut his nails. So yeah, fun times as parents. <laughs> when you are starting to make baby food I would usually do purees in the form of ice cube trays because these are really handy to have and what you can actually do in order to reuse your um, ice cube tray is put the baby food in there freeze it and then once it's frozen you can take those out and put them in ziploc bags and then you can obviously reuse that tray for other baby foods so that's really handy and you, you can actually build up a larger stash like this um, rather than having 10 ice cube trays. You can just have Ziploc bags in there with little baby food cubes. Most babies will get cradle cap because that's kind of like their body getting used to the outside world once they come out of the womb. So what you can do for this and what worked really well for my baby is I used a cradle cap lotion from Bioderma. There are a whole bunch on the market but this is the one that we picked. And we also had this little comb that worked really well for this and it was specially made for a cradle cap and it helped really well to get all of the little bits off of his head. As far as stuff nose goes or just fluids in their nose. One thing that helped the most was Nose Frida. Nose Frida is a little tube that I've talked about before but um, one end of it goes into your baby's nose, one end goes into your mouth and it has a filter. Don't worry you're not gonna get snot in your uh, mouth. So what you do is you just suck all of his snots out and then you can easily clean it up. It works really well, it's really efficient and it didn't scare my baby at all so it was really uh, perfect for that. I also tried one of those little pumps at first which I mean it kind of worked in the beginning but it wasn't too effective and we also had that little tube that connects to your vacuum but I kind of found that 
a little bit uh, intimidating to use and my baby didn't like the vacuum at all so I just decided to skip that and this nose free I think does the job perfectly next one that is a huge mom hack any mom should do this and I'm pretty sure most moms do because it's so convenient and that is baby wearing especially in the beginning months but I actually used it way later on as well baby wearing is amazing it's really um, convenient for you to do stuff around the house I could get a lot of things done with him strapped on my chest and he really loved it because he was really close to me he would take naps in there he would just sit happily and watch me do whatever in the kitchen or cleaning or it was just really convenient you should definitely get some sort of baby wearing system um, if you are becoming a new mom if you use formula one thing that I found really helpful was having little containers they usually come in stacks of three and it's really convenient for when you're traveling but also at home we actually used to put portions in there like for all throughout the night so that was really convenient because when you would wake up at night and want to make his formula um, it was really easy because you would just pour one portion into the bottle and you didn't, didn't have to measure it up um, during the night because actually when you wake up at night you're kind of groggy and kind of your mind is kind of foggy so I would actually sometimes put cups in there and I would think did I put enough or did I put too many um, because I was so like half asleep it's much easier to make their formula this way and then also when you travel it's um, super convenient to have those in your bag if your baby hates tummy time and you want to encourage that you can just put them on your chest and you can lay down on a couch on a bed or whatever that will make them feel uh, secure and it will also encourage tummy time one of my favorite hacks as a mom is to roll up their uh, backup clothes in socks what i mean by this is when you have your diaper bag and you're putting their spare uh, change of clothes in there because you should always have one just in case they have a blowout or whatever um, you should roll up the clothes and then put so one sock on one end one sock on the other end that will kind of make like a little clothes burrito it takes up less space in your bag it's really easy to find when you're looking for it so yeah it's just super convenient and easy to do when you're packing up your diaper bag don't forget a ziploc bag because just like an empty one because they might have a little accident they might might get dirty they might have an explosive diaper so if you have to change them when you're out and about you want to have a place where you can put their dirty clothes so this is really convenient and easy to do and then my final hack that I think is really handy is to have one of those hooks on your stroller you can buy these separately I bought mine in a pack of two and they're really handy you can just velcro it up to your stroller so these go with any type of stroller and it's really amazing when you go shopping you want to put your bag somewhere I find this to be really convenient and you can also buy little add-ons for your stroller like a little um, cup holder my stroller has a built-in cup holder but you can buy separate ones okay guys those are all of my new mom hacks I plan on doing one for older um, kids and toddlers as well so let me know if you guys would be interested to see that um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I will leave a list of mom and baby tips right here if you guys want to check it out and yeah I will see you in my next video bye guys